today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Ignatius of Antioch, a native of Syria and a zealous convert and disciple of Saint John the Evangelist. Ignatius was the third bishop of Antioch. From 94 to 96, there raged the second great persecution of Christians under the Emperor Domitian and Saint Ignatius was instrumental in instilling hope and courage in the faithful so that they might profess the faith unwaveringly even at the cost of life. After a short period of peace, Trojan started a third persecution during his reign. Saint Ignatius once again proved himself the faithful and intrepid leader of the church in Antioch, both by word and by example. Arrested in 107 as the mainspring of Christian resistance to the imperial edict, he was brought before Trajan, who happened to be in Antioch at that time. His fearless reply to a derogatory remark made by the emperor was, Call me not a poor wretch, for I bear God within me. Trajan ordered that he be sent to Rome to be devoured by wild beasts in the Colosseum. Ignatius was then 62 and the journey to Rome proved a great ordeal, but it also took on the aspect of triumph for the large number of Christians who turned out to meet him all along the way across Asia Minor and Northern Greece. Distant churches sent delegates with messages of homage and affectionate sympathy. At Smyrna, where a protracted stay was made, he was greeted by his friend St. Polycarp, and from there were dispatched Ignatius's well-known epistles to the churches of Ephesus, Magnesia and Trails. Filled with pastoral zeal and loving solitude, these letters touched on the various aspects of the faith, like the Eucharist, the resurrection, etc. Ready and eager to die for the faith, Ignatius was heard to say to those who were desirous for working for his release, I am the wheat of the Lord and must be ground by the teeth of wild beasts to become the pure bread of Lord Jesus Christ. Words which have been preserved in communion prayer of his mass. Two ferocious lions were let loose upon the aged bishop, who kept reiterating the holy name of Jesus. The story of his last journey and courageous martyrdom was written by two disciples who had accompanied him to Rome and who bore back to Antioch the few remains of their martyred bishop which they were able to collect. Saint Ignatius is invoked against soreness of the throat.